Have fun casting the game, James. Uh, okay, I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It worked. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm on the show. Is this one mine? This is yours. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can use the old man camera if you want. It's pretty good. Um, I'm all right. I'm going to have a look around. Show that screen. up to us there. Oh, OK, yeah. One second. All right, so this is very... It's all right, so I completely Ten get this, by the way. Remaining. What did you do? I forgot to refresh it. <laughs> and now I have, like, two Five heroes, so we can do, remaining. like, this. And I guess we can... Have you picked the right heroes? You could do screen? a sinking win rate. Oh, well, something's Reserve going on. Time. Yeah. Press all the buttons. I did that before, and it didn't go well. All right, well, welcome to the Ace Society Dream Leak. James there we here. go, look, sanking, sanking, sanking. Holy... <laughs> <laughs> Why is it overlapping everything? Yeah, so it's looking good for sanking this game. I mean, what's his win ratio there? <laughs> it's like... Zero percent. <laughs> no, it Alliances looks like 46. What if you know it's all zero? That's, that's the teams against each other. Nah, I might have fucked it. <laughs> we, right. need, we need an adult. Okay, so I can do sanking. I, I, can, I can pick between two heroes. Look, there we go. We're going to pick up a teenager's proper. Look at that. Ten seconds remaining. Zero percent. Yeah. That's Five because no sand kings have played together. Like They're you very <laughs> lonesome creatures. <laughs> well, you, you, it's very rare to find two sand kings time. on the same team. Yeah. I've been searching for sand kings many times. The other one. The yeah. other sand king. Uh, I've pretty much made a boss of this. Yeah, right, anyway, let's, let's get back into the game. Uh, oh. So, Alliance got themselves a pack of visage. Centaur, War Runner, and a Rubik, and VP, Invoker, Ancient Apparition, Sand King, Nature's Prophet, Virtus last ban out for Alliance, they wanted ban. to remove the Lifestealer, and VP, what did they gonna take out, Lumi? We, we're gonna refocus now. <laughs> yep. You got me, Alliance man. They take out Spectre. That's <laughs> what I would've said. Yeah, I would've said that too. Yeah. I wouldn't've said that. <clears throat> Don't lie, Shane. No, I actually really love this combo though, Invoker AA, with this one strike and the ulti, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. If you can land it, like you can pretty much instantly kill anyone. So you're saying he's going exhort? Well, I would, in this game. Yeah. With you the sanking, sanking. Yeah, yeah, it always yeah. sets up the sun strike. And you got Nature's Prophet as well, if he's gonna uh, hold anybody in place. Yeah, the sanking stun duration is like plenty. Two, like two it's, seconds. It's really nice. And 1.6 seconds on uh, Invoker sun strike. That's good knowledge, Shane. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if the Sanky is actually going to be doing the zoning thing though, or is he going to play it like the way that uh, we saw EGM play last game? We're just going to sit in jungle and sandstorm away. But they don't have as they don't have a jungler. Like they don't have as a passive team. They have like Visage and they have Centaur. Like they they can like punish okay, them. Okay, so you're saying he can't get away. Yeah, doing they that. can punish them definitely. Okay. The way I see it, I think AA with Chilling Touch is good enough to zone out Centaur by himself. Like you put Chilling Touch yourself yeah. and you keep hitting the Centaur and he can't come to into you, and then that allows Sanky to do that. So we'll see if that's the case. You like Rubik James, don't you? He's very nice. Yes, I do, Shane. What do you think about sanking on... <laughs> well, like, like, as, 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 when, you play, when, you, when you're playing Rubik and you have a sanking... Rubik's like a way better situation in this game, in my opinion, than anyone else. Like, as far as the support goes, um, he's got a pretty... Like, he, they need another front. Like, Puck's a great initiator, but at the same time, Puck just disappears on you. And you're like, oh, fucking Puck. You know, like, you were meant to be there for me, and you just vanished and then blinked away. If he didn't already blink in. So if I was playing Rubik in this game, I'd wish uh, I'd, I'd ask S4 or Loader to pick something a little bit more frontliney for the uh, Rubik to be able to play. Because if you make space, uh, you'll be able to get decent stills on the Sanking because he has to commit into the fight. Like yeah. you should always be able to get a Burrow yeah. Strike. Like you always should. Yeah, and Luna is a good kind of uh, hero for that in pick. terms of uh, just having presence in the team fights and allow the Rubik to play around it. But yeah, and also AA ulti. Not much to cast after you know you do cast an AA ulti in mm -hmm. team fights. Uh, hopefully you cast it from a distance so it gets stolen. You can get a lot from Invoker as well, but it's a little tricky in terms of the speed. Yeah, if you can the ice vortex. Yeah. If you can keep casting that, like with a four second stone with this epicenter Majigger. It was a serious amount of damage though. Yeah, so it's probably going to be a uh, central a war runner off lane. Yep. Uh, and it's going to be a Wrath King. Surprise last pick here it for VP. Is he Holy crap. Max Crit. Max Crit, no Max stun. Aura, one stun, probably. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually uh, a build, man. It's not really, though. <clears throat> The, the biggest problem I see for, like, VP is, like, yeah, they got some really powerful team fights. Like, like just, just a few abilities.
Yeah, mm -hmm. but in reality, it feels like Alliance have that and they have more, which is just like map mobility. I know I'm saying that against so a nature's profit, but the fact is, is like Puck is just going to be everywhere and cause a ruckus, which will allow Luna to out farm. And this is what Alliance do. They get what they want and eventually they just take small little steps towards out farming you and out controlling you and then they just win. All right. So I kind of forgot I was doing the draft thing. I just kind of like forgot about remaining. it. Yeah. And they just took it away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Fine. Five yeah. seconds win right remaining. There for us. <laughs> no, I think that's been up there for a long time. Right. 52.7% chance. So I think this early game is really coming down to whether the two supports for Alliance Prepare is going to be shutting down. Offensive Troilen, maybe? No, no, no. They're, they're going to defensive jungle or defensive Troilen with a Luna. But what are they going to roll down mid and, and just give Invoker a very tough time? But um, last couple of times we've seen S4 playing his puck against Dendi's Invoker. He was able to actually beat Dendi's Invoker multiple times. So we'll see if he's going to have similar luck or skill against I don't uh, think G. Dendi isn't really known like he's more of a you know mid-game playmaker really what? though he's more of a mid-game playmaker you're saying some blasphemous words and I can't really understand what you're <sighs> trying to utter I'd agree with you Shane yeah Dendi's yeah, not very good early he's just a mid-game player no, well I'm not saying he's not good but what he's known for is his mid-game like, like when when shit gets crazy he's good yeah. Dendi gets really that's good what you like, like when yeah like okay, really. I'm gonna just quote some of my boys from Homeland, all right? It's Chinese pro players say okay. one of the most impressive thing about Dendi is the fact that he lasts and deny extremely well. And like he, you know... I last hit and deny extremely well, Dendi. Not against are, the Wisp. Are they talking about me? No, not against the Wisp. They saw your Wisp <laughs> Timber Saw game You're and I was gonna like, You're never gonna be able nope. to live that down. No, like, that's fine. Famous. Infamous. <laughs> the worst Timbersaw player in the world. All right, so we are going to have G middle on the uh, Invoker. The uh, going begins. off lane is going to be Arza begins. on the Nature's Prophet, and we do have a uh, safe try lane. We'll see what NS is going to be able to get up to on his uh, Sand King. They've got a uh, double damage here. Going to go to Jotham in just a second. I doubt they want to. It's very hard to want to commit with anything with a level one burrow strike. So we kind of need levels on Sand King for him to really come into effect. On the off lane, we see Bulldog going down in the middle. Uh, we've got S4 as the lanes are going to meet, and then a safe uh, try lane as well. So I think first play could actually happen on the bot lane. Yeah, because the Centaur doesn't have boots. Yeah, like that's a usual thing. You see Centaur get boots. He's gone for shield instead. Yeah, and they do have Illidan also having a stun here, so. I don't know, I don't think Sentry get too close. Yeah, you're kind of disappointed he didn't go crit. I mean, you, you get stun on one. Even Illidan knows that. There you go, crit, crit, crit. <laughs> I'm kind of happy the the VP look like they just want to play a somewhat safe game with both of the uh, tri lanes being on safe. I think it'll work out pretty well for him. Like, AA scales so well on levels in terms of if you get your ulti early, and so does Sand King. Mm -hmm. They're and kind they're of giving the, as well. the experience though to Sand King instead of. Yeah. Both Sand King and AA do need levels. Yeah, I would give it to Sand King. Yeah. Like every time. Yeah, I think that's the issue though. Lift. lift. Just, just lifting things. Just lifting. <laughs> EGM. Getting buff. You saying, Lumi? Yeah, I think the, the issue for these two supports is that they, they both want a lot and you do have to sacrifice one or the other. And the other problem is, Rave King, the reason we don't see him a lot in pro games is he just needs so many items to be effective. It also almost feels like you need like a four staff. Blink dagger, I think. It's... Or blink dagger, one or the other, just to be able to be in the center or initiate. Um, so he's going to rely a lot on NS getting that early blink and, and doing it for the team. Because it seems like our invoker is going for exhort. So you don't really have that tornado to fall back on either. I don't know how Virtus Pro is gonna find that initiation. Yeah, it's gonna. Be, as you mentioned, that just makes it harder on Illidan as well. As you like, imagine running a Luna. <laughs> like you've got Jeez, so much damage. Yeah, you're like I need to hit you. It's like Luna's movement speed is huge in terms of positioning that the team will have. It's you're gonna have a tough time, and then you've also got all the counter initiates with Rubik left and Puck and etc. It's all the uh, tower. Dendi is actually destroying G and mid right bottom now. Tower is under He's attack. You know what? Would you I like heard, to say that again? I heard that uh, Dendi is actually pretty good at last. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was, never I was never doubting that. I was never doubting that. Oh, he's more, more of a mid-game player, though. But he is. He's really good at the... But he's, but he, we weren't saying he was bad at that. Yeah. We were just saying he's even better. Exactly. Imagine that. Dying he's even bottom better. Oh, he's under see. attack. Oh, no, keep your clothes on, please. Your pants. No, don't do this on the show, Lily. Nice. Come back to the game. Okay, great. We're back. So the Exhort build 
uh, you called it, I think, uh, Shane, earlier. So we, we really need, uh, like, VP really need to land some stun combos. And Bulldog is extremely aware of the situation, although he sits around 600 and uh, 600 He's health. pretty buff, like, yeah. yeah. We had a little rotation from EGM earlier. Oh, this Took could be huge. Route, got a side so the coming mid. The wave's already pushed in, so G should be pretty safe. This might actually not work out at all. That smoke is going to wear off. It's just EGM now who's going to be under invis. We'll see if G's going to play out. Actually, if he lifts him from that area and throw him into that niche yeah. spot, like that could the be niche. just enough. Yeah, is he going to go for it? I think so. Now, go! go. Oh, lift. Lift. There it is. Can he firm? No, he won't get a firm until yeah. he's uh, placed what he wanted. G oh. should be able to get away. Oh, they're coming to come in here. Oh, I think this as well. Like he's blocking S4. Oh. This is risky, man. The, the babies, deep. the babies are gonna eat EGM. They're still in gonna come, go in. Comes, uh, yes, cool. oh, sure. What? Okay, that's the kill. Radiant's I can't believe he actually got that. I thought he was gonna go into the tree line. Orzar is gonna come Dude, in. The baby is uh, doing the minus damage. He's gonna get the kill, but I think S4, right. he's gonna have a orb in one more second. NS. He's trying to around the tree. The orb is gonna be Level moving fast. Oh, oh, he hits it. He's got face. Oh, he's gone to the baby. Alright. But the TP back here from the Invoker. Uh oh, holy shit. S4, two games in a row making those dives. This time not getting first blood. I think it was worth it. He did get first blood. Did he get first blood? Yeah, yeah, he got first blood. What a player. <laughs> he got first blood. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, the block was awesome. I, I thought he was just going to bail. Yeah. yeah, so. Like, really. But G, like, I don't know. Would you have gone through the tree line? What else do you do, though? Like, I'm not cry. Just break down into tears? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> All the meanwhile, we've got some farm on uh, the Skeleton Kling Illidan, currently up to 25, uh, just slightly behind um, Loader on his Luna. Who scales better for you, Luna? Oh, definitely the Luna, like, because he is a carry that could farm very quickly if you leave him alone, and if you don't, or if you need him to fight, he can give you that. Whereas Rave King farms slower, and he fights a lot worse, so I just think he's just like, a tier 3 carry, if you want to say. And Luna has that push as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, like, if you leave him alone, he could take a tower. I'm surprised that Illidan also has a point into stat as well as a point into vamp aura. Generally, you don't get the vamp aura because it pushes, pushes the lane. Yeah. So they won this tower, man. It's half health. Sure. Yeah, they have nature man. Okay, Ooh, nature man. There you go. Is that one appearance? Uh... He robs most of them for me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Dyer's bottom tower You kind of made for him what he is. That's what you were telling me off the camera, wasn't it? I was never without... saying that. It yeah, was. You said. You said without you, you know me. Bottom tower well, tower to be honest. Perian's my boy. Doesn't sound like uh, what you said off camera. <laughs> you can't just make things up like we were saying earlier. <laughs> what was he saying, Lumi earlier? I'm the smartest or something. And we get him, it wasn't even known if I said that. No, my bad. All right, <laughs> you just top lying. lanes. <laughs> NS, run away. He's got two points in oh, the sandstorm, by the way. Okay, yeah, that's generally the norm now, actually. Like, you just get sandstorm at two and three to just farm faster. And then uh, you get to your quick blink dagger. Is he going to go for mana boots or is he going to straight up push the blink? I like think if it judges how you're farming. If, if you're like 15 minutes in and you have 1,000 go, you might as well just go for the arcane. But 10 minutes in, you have you know 1,000 go, you might as well, hey, let's go for the blink. Um, heart starts level 4 at uh, 6 minutes in. Is he a bit behind or? He's going to be level 5. He's going to be happy in a minute. Look at that, NS. Yeah, he's going to be behind. And then uh, Rave King's also got Midas, so he's somewhat equating farm to the Luna. And they're also up a tier 1 tower, so all things considered, I think they're okay. And I think Nature's Prophet doesn't really need levels early as badly as most other offlaners, simply because he's going to go Midas anyways. So eventually he'll catch up. I actually think that on like a 1v1 fight, Skeleton King will kill Luna. Like, oh if, yeah, for if, sure. If, if you can not get caught at a Skeleton King, which is like the main problem. If you can like actually click people. I, I just, I'm just wondering what the SK is going to do when that Luna gets a BKB. Because, like, it's not like you're using SK to kind of be in, like, you need to initiate with your Sand King, right? So you're going to have to get NSA farm. But if the S, sometimes the SK, if it just absorbs spells and then comes back to life, you're like, haha, you're laughing, yeah? But at the same time, if he's absorbing spells, who's doing the damage? Yeah. Like, is it really the Invoker? Is, you know, are you going to hit that OT on your uh, Sand King? It just seems risky. So I think a lot relies really on G and that his contribution to the mm -hmm. mid-game team fights. I think, like, and that's not a bad thing if you're VP because he is the solid player and he's he's really good on Invoker as well. So he's currently out farming uh, S4, though uh, he did give up the first blood. But yeah. It's, it's kind of expected it's when, you get, when you get the Forge Spirits out that you'll ever fire, like outlane your opponent just because you have like two heroes, basically. Yeah.
Radiant's top tower is under attack. I mean, at the same time, I just want to say that, like, it's so easy to kite a Wraith King for Alliance. Puck, it's hard to go on. They have Grave Chill, which, unless you have BKB, you're pretty much F. When Aki drops out on you, you they have Stampede, the lift. Yeah. And all they really need is one four staff yeah. against that one blink burrow strike. So Illidan gets blinked. I think it's legit. I, I think it's legit. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's Sanjin Yasha. And four staff. <laughs> and four staff. <laughs> and a Yule. And just it, to make sure you have the movement speed. And you can dispel the chilling touch or yeah. the grave chill thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so we got a minus up on loader as well. Any interesting items up here for you guys? I actually think. Uh, is that S4s? No. For some reason I thought S4 was bringing something out. Yeah, it's a to finish, oh, yeah, shreds, finish yeah. shreds. Yeah, I think it's pretty standard. The only thing in question is whether NS is going to go for that quick blink. And if you well, look at his current gold, yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. So, I think that's when last game, if we saw a lines EGM doing the same thing, like he didn't actually do anything for the first like, ten minutes. And then he came in huge. Right. He he found epicenter combos and everything else. So I think that's exactly the same path that uh, Virtus Pros is taking this game. Man, this is a just a really really farmy game right now. Yeah. The, the problem is, is for Alliance, it's like, A, they have um, Loda playing the Luna, just going to sit there. You need to sit there. Yeah. That's all you can do. And it's, it's really up to S4 when uh, S4 wants to rotate. But then S4 has to realize every time he's going to rotate for a fight, you've got Artsa on the Nature's Profit that is A, going to ulti and B, probably TT in. So it's never really going to be like hugely in your favor. And, it, and like, what do you do? You Gank an SK, but here we go. Oh, on the uh, top, uh, sorry, on the bottom lane, Weffer's call it. It is going to be a kill. And in comes uh, S4, going to try and get away. He's going to drop. Nope. Grave shield. Yeah. He's doing some work. There comes the uh, ulti out. We're doing call the place. Arsar going to get the kill there. He's probably going to go down. The Sprout, though, Ooh. saving that game, but the crew's going to clean up. Yeah, yeah. And Illidan's, you know, he participated in two, three kills, got a ton of experience, now level nine. Meanwhile, on the top lane here, Loda was able to destroy the tier one tower. And double Midas just got picked up by VP. So they're saying, hey, man, they've triple Midas now. Tower yeah. is like, you attack. may outplay us, you may get us one or two tower early, but we're just going to have the raw farm and experience advantage. Well, in fairness, the game. towers are equal. Yeah, yeah. They, took, they took the tier one down earlier as well. So I think VP is very much so favored uh, if we're going to late, late, late game. This puts a lot of pressure on Loda because he's like, okay, they've got X amount of Midas's. I need to get on mine. Yeah. They have so, a massive stack. Yeah, though. they have that. That's pretty much where I, I think after they clear that, it's it's going to be all out war for their alliance. All out war. Actually, if you look at Loda's item choice, he's got Mask of Death. So normally, if you want to fight, you go drums into a BKB, even if you have a Midas. But it seems like he's saying, hey, you guys are being greedy. I'm going to be greedy as well, but that's doing it against three Midas, so. I'm not sure if that's the it's, correct decision. It's three Midas, but then it's also going to turn into... A, there will be a sheep stick coming out on the uh, Arts up as well. So it's, it's a little bit risky. Here it comes. Uh, Sunstrike hits S4. And uh, in comes the Ice Blast as well. But it hit his fine. Bulldog. Wait, how did Bulldog get behind him? Yeah, uh, I'm saying the Wrath does hit on S4. There's no AA. Uh, so he'll make it back home safely. Birds are out for Alliance. I think all things considered, that's fine. Like, sure, you lose your Invoker, but this reminds me of a situation where you have three cores and all of them are Midas. Yeah, you get a kill on one of them, but the other two are still farming very merrily. I think VP need to get an item out on um, on Illidan, who's going to... He's gone for Radiance, but it looks... Uh, I think that's what he's going to do. Really? Yeah, I've seen people do it. You get Radiance and, like, Mjolnir. Yeah. Mm. Is that the... Uh, <laughs> The Perian Flax yep, build that played with us. Perian Flax build. So he, he's basically saying, "All right, guys, not all right. All right this is what blink. I'm talking about." All right. Okay. Now, I think they like. To me, like I think, a he needed to get an item, right? Yeah. In terms of like something that helps him fight, and they need to start fighting without Arta on the Nature's Prophet and actually bring uh, Arta into the team fights. You know, when it's uh, when he's needed. Um, they because they have a, a blink up on uh, NS. Like, he's, he's got a blink. He's got a smoke as well. So VP. It feels like now, this is when they're going to try and make some moves. The only problem they've got is, um, well, G doesn't have exactly what he wants. He's going towards a four staff yeah, and doesn't he have it yet. That's a fair bit of farm in fairness, considering he died twice. Yeah, but that like might, that Midas is somewhat not, like, slowed him down for where the fights could be yeah. with his items. Yeah. So he's got to be a little bit careful. And we've got a smoke on the other side from Alliance. And we've got a blink mm -hmm. on Admiral Bulldog. They haven't seen it. And G is probably going to get picked up here. There's the initiation. They are ready for this. They should be able to turn something around shortly. Oh, here comes the epicenter, ice blast, everything's coming. 
coming in. Of course, Illidan with Splink as well, but stolen Burrow Strike from EGM. He's going back in the trees. We're gonna have Blink coming off cooldown in a couple of seconds. They have detected him. One more Blink stun should do it. Blink, Illidan, he goes into two. The stun is gonna hit on EGM, and that's gonna be the kill. So, in terms of the trades, are they, is it over? The birds is gonna be stalking Illidan. He will have Blink. It gets canceled for a couple of times. He, had, he does have Reincarn as well, so it should be fine. Did you see S4 roaming at Illidan to try and absorb the the stun? He could dodge it. Are they going to take his... Oh, they're going to take his reincarnation. No, he's not going to No, 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 he's going to sign his... He's going to get off. He's on the birds. That's not going to hit. Run Illidan, than you fool. Um, but yeah, nicely done uh, by both teams, I would say. Alliance knew something was going to happen, uh, and they wanted something to happen, so they smoked out mid. But VP also were looking for a fight, so they were able to turn it with a nice uh, uh, epicenter burrow strike from NS. And actually, S4, very lucky in that fight. He uh, did get hit by Ice Blast and just got away with just enough HP, yeah. managed to bottle up, and then uh, chased off the reincarnation. So, And all the meantime, that bought a lot of time for Loader. And you can now see how far ahead he is in last hit. Yeah, Ice Blast, Blink, two Blink Daggers coming, the Sun Strike just for good measure, not necessary as all. Doesn't have Blink, right? Trying to burst out on NS, NS is dropping low, Blink Daggers getting cancelled, no, it's gonna go down. Meanwhile, Reincarn on the back line, like you said, was not online, and that's it. So, surprisingly, normally when you see two Stringfield blinking in, they get the kill and they get out alive, yeah. but there's way more than enough burst damage. Ammo Bulldog like, even misses Hoof Stomp, they didn't even use Stampede, they just had enough chase to actually bring everything down. Load is still sneaking ahead during this time though. Yeah. Like, G needs to catch up in terms of farm. Like, he's got a lot of room. Like, right now he's farming the top lane. Uh, he threw a sun strike in that previous Radiant fight, so he was involved in it, and he has this lane all by himself. So there might be a, a course to actually TP bottom. S4 is going to be uh, just pushing that tower a little bit. Radiant's bottom Birds tower are going to be sent top attack. lane to uh, defend. Loda will head there as Dyer's well. Top he didn't top finish the helm yeah. 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 no. He went for the Yasha instead. Huh. That's very interesting. Like yeah, this is have one a of the blade as well on uh, Arthur. It, this is one of the more greedier games from both teams. It's just like, hey, we're gonna all farm, but it's not like nobody's fighting. No. Yeah. That's kind of the cool thing about Skeleton King. He can fight early and die, and it doesn't really matter that much. Like. Illidan, your Midas is off cooldown. It's been off cooldown since that fight on the bot lane where he died. Like, use it. Well, they're smoked up. This is the two-man gank it. plus the. Uh, Did you forget strike. about it? Are they? They're gonna get loaded. Here. They're gonna get loaded. And come to the strike, where is it? In the center as well. They do have Burrow Strike. Oh, they're trying to lift him away. Ice Blast is going to come through. Sam used. Looks like they're going to try to do something about this. Didn't they? Yeah, yeah no. TP rotations. They need to get the fuck out of here. Birds are going to track. And they're not going to find anybody. So, uh, <laughs> get on to the Alliance carry. And all the meanwhile, uh, Artsar just casually farming away. And mm -hmm. it mentioned he's hopefully picking up his Shadow Blade soon. And G is casually farming away too. Yeah. And he also got that kill Dyer's on there. Dyer's middle right? tower is under, tower under attack. attack. Illidan finally uses Midas after literally not using it for two minutes. Literally two minutes. Literally two minutes. Yeah. So I asked earlier, I was like, well, who's going to be the DPS after, you know, you're trying to farm out the Sand King? And uh, yeah, Sand King just kind of casually initiates, uh, Dyer's <laughs> moving over to an initiator. Attack. You can see G and Arthur being super also, greedy. Do you think that's going to work? Maybe EGM got annihilated by that combo. <laughs> hey, hey. I think it mostly works in these kind of uh, non-team fight engagements where you just go for a pickoff, right? You mm -hmm. sun strike, you ice blast, you, you you get a stun, and that's it. In terms of raw team fight, they really still need Rave King to be the DPSer, but perhaps uh, Virtus Pro just don't want to take any team fights. Well, they have this window before Luna gets BKB because yeah. because of the the way she built, like she got went for the the Yasha and like Hammer the Dominator before BKB. But, like, how do you find S 4s role on Puck? Because Puck gets a lot of um, her gold based off those mid-game fights where mm -hmm. she's so effective, right? And there aren't these kind of, they're, they're, those kind of fights aren't happening. It's like these crazy pickups, right? So Puck isn't able to get all the kind of farm she wants because there's a very dangerous uh, sanction, but actually, uh, speaking of S4, it's going to initiate top for a little bit and uh, NS will back away. But, you know, S4, I feel, is falling behind in terms of farm and gold because of the, the style of the game. 
and surely that's going to hurt. Yeah, it's really tough for S4 to actually go and find kills as Arzar actually just goes in sent towards down. So his first use of Shadow Blade immediately gives S4 a little bit of experience in gold, like you said. But yeah, I think the style of the game is Virtus Pro is the one that's actually initiating. And S4 by himself, he really can't get any kills. For example, the times he's been getting kills is mid lane where Centaur is invis and there's a clap in double edge. He really needs a plus one, but when your team is constantly getting ganked and dying, he really can't lead the ganks. So look towards Alliance maybe doing one or two smoke ganks and, and change that. They've tried twice, I think. To do, do ganks? Yeah, it didn't work out. I mean, they got a, uh, the they got a couple of rebuttal kills on the bot lane. Remember yeah, when the yeah. Sand King and, and the Rave King stole? So, I think S4 is doing fine, but it's definitely not you know the, the, the pucks that we've been seeing lately where it's just dominating all over the map. And Lord is really close to BKB as well. He's like 1,300 gold away or so. Blame L. All right. So I mean, Best we're saying. game. I, I, I guess. <laughs> I All mean, right. hey, it's what, legit, do you mean, what do you mean you guess? It's definitely not the best item in the game. When James asked, "Where's the damage coming from?" I was like, "All right, it's, gonna it's coming from Alliance." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the it's just damage. reflected. It. Okay. Yeah. Hey, like, it, it, I, like I really think this nature's profit and. Um, and Invoker are going to kick in huge, but they they, they, need, they need to keep this momentum going VP, right? So yeah. they're, you know, they're only like one kill up, but more importantly, they've held their own and they've got map control, in my opinion. Yeah, um, so they need to they need to take out Loader. They, they need to put the pressure on him. If you can hold Loader down, you can win this game from this situation. And, and saying that about VP, that's huge. Um, Look and at how Arts afraid are, they are. Yeah. Yeah, they should be, because they know. They lose Loader like too many times. This Nature's Prophet's gonna be big. Like, he's got a Shadow Blade to Artsar, and you know, hopefully a later a Sheepstick. Mm -hmm. And then if you've just got a BKB and a Yasha, you know, you're having a bad time. But I have to give props to uh, NS. He's been warding pretty well yes. uh, this game. They've, they've had really good vision for these picks. So he's been a big part, even if he, uh, you know, hasn't been so spectacular in terms of the team fights. Yeah, he's basically playing the, the solo warding, because if you look mm. at, uh, uh, Jotam, he he's going for you know that axe up there both. That's what a lot of people do on a, on a they just like say, okay, you've bought your wards for like ten minutes, now Radiance literally farm mag right attack. now. That's all you're doing. Farm yeah. lanes. The other hero that you normally do that on is uh, Visage, but if you look at Ake, you know, the guy who always wards, he's not going for that. He's going just for the Well he has a, a thousand gold in the Yeah bank. he does, but normally you skip the urn for example, you go point booster and you And three you TP scrolls. Yeah. Maybe he, he had a death and he was just yeah, spamming yeah, TP was, purchases. Yeah. Maybe he wants to get places. I don't know, I just feel this blame mail as awesome as that item is, it just really is counteractive in terms of the style they're playing for, right? Which is smoke ganking and blinking in to initiate for the team. Yeah. To be honest, if they, uh, they haven't got a mech, I would have actually considered just going mech on the SK, even though it costs mana. And you'd be like, oh shit, now I can't reincarnate. Really well, uh, Lumi actually said uh, last, uh, about two weeks ago, how much mana that mech actually costs. It only costs 75, because it gives mana. you five Radiance stacks. Top tower is under attack. Yeah, but either way, I think a mech would have been, like, in this situation, I would... Wait, which SK? Skeleton King or Sand King? S skeleton. Okay. I would have done that after the blink. Cool. I would have been like, okay, let's go. Support. Let's win these team fights. Support Rave King. Blinking into mech the team, guys. No, no it's the BKB. <laughs> no, the, the S4, blade mail is kind of... S4, gonna get caught out. And S is gonna spawn him. She can dodge it. fine. He's gonna get it. Yeah, oh. And he also gets the uh, stampede. Kill the birds. I mean, those birds are... You can never kill them. Th like Having this uh, mid tower run for uh, BP is pretty huge. How long they've had it up. Yeah. We see Jigo, he went for a bottle as well. Look, I, it looks like you're trying to gank uh, Loader mid. Blink, stun. Do they have yeah, Sun Strike on Blink, top? Next flash. Hear everything and drop the hit. Uh, Blade Mail not going to be used because he is grabbing hard. The Dash Blast deep up. Shit still hit a BKP unit. I think he's going to shatter it. And then he's going to reinitiate. Yeah, uh, a slow one. Everybody, everybody's dropping low. The Blade Mail now comes out. The Sun Yeah, kill the bird. You know, <laughs> celebratory Sun King ult. Yeah, I think that that's the power of an ancient apparition. I think that's Dyer's something bottom tower is under a little attack. bit OP up with a hero. It goes for BKB, the shadow effect. And he also was in the bottom lane. S4, what are you doing, S4? Nothing good will come of this. Dyer's top Leave. tower Dyer's is under attack. Okay, he's leaving. Under it's attack. fine. He's happy. BP are really strong now. Yeah. Up 4 kill, if you look at the go Dyer's graph, up 4,000 as well, that's before attack. taking down this tier 2 tower. G smartly rotates Dyer's up top with his bots, and that's going to give him a T1 as well. So, 
BP is really taking down the map. No, it's so. He went for a pick off mid and it didn't. Dyer's middle tower has been Dyer's top tower. Yeah, I think the problem here for Alliance is that they can't really counter gank as effectively as Brothers Pro. As I say that, and somebody just got killed on VP. Well, it's a ancient. It's, it's an ice cream right. split potion, like in yeah. Melted. Yeah. So normally, if you're ganking somebody. You blink in, you stun, and if there's enough help coming in, right? Let's say the puck come in, the centaur come in, yeah. you could save that person and maybe get a couple of counter kill. You can't do that against AA. AA just kills you regardless. So when VP goes for kills, they always get them. When Alliance goes for kills, oftentimes it doesn't work. So this is a Roshan attempt, Dyer's and top there is, is no, uh, no one farming top lane when that tier 2 tower is just getting hit, so they have to know. Yeah, they do. They... Oh, the yeah. reason they feel safe with this yeah, is yeah. because AA is dead, yeah. so they have enough time to do it. Roshan we'll has fallen to the dark. Ake is going to take in the face. Oh, what was that dodge? Dyer's you can't hit Ake in the face. It's not like you so beautiful. Your hand will kind of just... Just like subconsciously, you're just like miss without <laughs> even like knowing because you'd be like, he's too there's pretty to punch. There's a barrier, a yeah. beautiful Radiant's barrier. Middle tower middle tower is under attack. <laughs> We should send all the good-looking people to wars. <laughs> people won't be able to shoot them. Maybe then you'll get married. <laughs> <laughs> so he went for the Mystic stop first instead of the Ultimate Orb. Yeah, I'm confused about this as well. Radiant's bottom tower Changing. is under attack. Let's go, man. All right. Find a bigger item piece. Radiance bottom tower. Has this is what Alliance do best, though, isn't it? They take Roche and they take the objective. Yeah. yeah, but I, th I think you can fight these guys in this situation. I don't think that's too scary. I, um, Radiance the bottom problem is, tower like, yeah, okay, no, no, but ice glass is coming in. They want to fight. If they have epicenter ice glass combo, is it going to be off the mark? Dyer's top tower. I mean, it's, look at this global. They have Radiant's Wrath, bottom tower Ice Blast, under Invoker, Sunstrike. Sunstrike, it, they have so much. Here comes the TP. Brosh, are only going to get one. If that was an HM, they would have got four. But, uh, okay. NS is dead. Beautiful. Yeah, and it's dead, but also EGM down as well. Holding loader in place. This, they should be able to get on him in terms of stun. No, BKB used, and he's gonna pop his Eclipse to turn. And he will still uh, well, not go down. It's actually Illigan will get a kill, and then here drop, but reincarnate. BKB gonna be wearing off soon. Can they chase? Four staff up in five seconds on G. There's a blink, and it's paid for itself like three times here. And can they, they should be able to block him in? in? Yeah, yeah. 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 Get the tree in there. Oh, Sister comes use. in right now. They're gonna go right on GG. He's a high priority target. They're gonna play that. John dropping low. He's gonna go down as well. Meanwhile, on the back line here, Red King's trying to do whatever he can. Blame it already cool down. They want to focus on Alpha Bulldog. No shatter effect just yet. But the Force Spirit, they're doing so much. F4. He's got the orb. He's gonna try to go north, and he did, indeed he does. does. Blink dagger coming back. One? He's gonna chase? Oh. No, he, he's got his own blink as well. I think if the Force Spirits attacked S4 there, he could have killed him. Maybe. They would have cancelled his blink. And Rave King is finally gonna get some DPS with the Maelstrom. <sighs> Doing it wrong? <laughs> Where's the pick? <laughs> pick of the armor. Yeah. Or do you? I mean, no, you want less armor, so you take more damage. And the blade mail is better, yes, yes. The blade mail is paid for itself, man. It feels like, um, you know, the Bloodseeker. Like, you know you, you can't move when you're in a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, well, I kind of get you kind of Bloodseeker a little bit more because of the passive. But at the same time, just because you can't move and you're a target, fuck it, blade mail. It's worked out, like, twice for him. He did against Loader, yeah. that one. It's awesome. I always thought that uh, your reincarn slows through BKB, Radiance but I guess not. He might have been out of range, though. That range is ridiculously big. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it was. Yeah. I should know this, but I don't. All right, so Arts Arts almost picked up his uh, sheep stick. We are going to have a Manta. Uh, He's been kind of quiet this game. He's just lobbing ultis at them, in fairness. Yeah. He's playing super safe as well. Yeah. But that's kind of like how you want it. It's a stealthy, <laughs> it is a Stealth blade. Yeah, stealthy blade. Pub blade. Are you okay with the come? No. I mean, that's the scary thing about this. Now with the Axe Upper finish on Jotham, they just need one connect ult and like one stun and they're dead. Looks like they're gonna just, well not exactly the best chain stun, but enough burst damage. So you tell me, if you can't farm in front of chair 3 like that, what do you do if you're Lions? Five man. It's all on loader, still. What, do you think you should farm more or fight or? I know, you, you get as much farm as you can. It's kind of... Without getting caught. Yeah. yeah. There's also I, they, they, now. I mean, they've got a good ward. Like, look at the ward uh, in the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
well, I say VP's ward is really good. They've got a mid ward, <laughs> and they've got a ward up uh, by the. I mean, they the see load up bot right now. All they need is a profit TP. And a blink stun, yeah, Prophet's yeah, making a TP. Oh, Jace here as well. Yeah, there's King. Oh, there's a. Oh, nicely done. Dyer's top tower. Text him again. Text attack. him again. Why is that? What? what? Uh huh? Right. Ah! Why no fight? That's. That's cool. Maybe they thought they did not have enough damage to kill him. Uh, Alliance is actually go. getting, like, wrecked right now. Yeah. By blink, Wraith King. No, it, it's like the. Most important item. When they used to pick them, they picked them like a, a good while ago now. And they used to always get, everyone used to get four stuff on them. Yeah, but it's not just the Wraith King though. Like, I, I think every part of this draft is so good. Like, you have a support that could blink and initiate in an AoE. You have a carry that could do the same. And really, I think it's the Ice Blast that ties everything together. And then you have two other heroes that do doesn't join the fight, but you can't ignore but, them. You know, in all fairness though, if they were playing against Alliance, kind of playing a little bit more pushy, like a, a push line, like like with a, a with Ak Chan. Yeah, and they would just. I think they would get stomped in this game. Yeah, like really. Like the problem is, is like they pick greedy, and then VP were like, well, we can pick greedy and we can fight, like kind of Dyer's globally, bottom tower and we have three minuses. Yeah. And the the targets that you want to kill, it doesn't really matter. You know, if you kill SK, we're going to be able to uh, react. Dyer's bottom tower. We're going to we're gonna crit on EG, and he's going to go down. Maybe sensor onto Admiral Bulldog, which is going to be able to run away. Hasn't used Stampede yet, and it's all on loader. He's going to come in, still has Just a, a little slap. And doesn't want to follow in. EGM's had a nightmare. He's had no, he's got no movability items, which is the worst thing when you're up against Blink Dagger. He's target. been saving up for a Blink Dagger for like the entire game nearly. And he's gotten to like 1,700, 1,600, and it's just. So, question here, Shane. Are they going to be able to break base? Yeah. Like, is the invoker? They can just die yeah. chip away. Stand the SK. Yeah. It's, a, it's a yes from, from Shay. Lumi? Yeah, I, I think it looks good as well. Um, especially if Ice Blast just hits on two members of Alliance. They just have to, like, wait in the well for, like, 10 seconds, 13 seconds, so... I think if you're, uh, if you're VP here, you literally go ham on uh, Red King and just go dive on them. Mm -hmm. They try and kill EGM straight away again. So, if you're Alliance, when you're in a team fight, you don't want to touch the Wraith King, right? No, you Wraith want King's to like, let's get rid of the Wraith King. We're not going to go on the Wraith King. Who do you go on and how do you get on with your whole team? Because how do you move EGM around? I think is what you actually just... have to do is you have to pick off the AA before the fight starts. Okay. And then at least, the, because the Blast is actually wrecking them. Right, but a properly played day day is always going to be played like across the map. He's, he's not going to be yeah, showing himself. Like the only time that Jotam died was when he was like split pushing. Yeah. That's that's like I don't know five ten minutes ago. So. And Invoker, go for Invoker. Yeah, I think Invoker is a high priority target because he has that hex. You just all, like all the other targets are so hard to kill. Either you don't find them or they're just like they have you know blinks and sandstorms or Birth reincarnations. Rates. So. Alliance just looking for a pick and smoke right now. Yeah. Um, if they can get a pick and they can hold their base, I know we can ask Andy. they can go Has back Andy on and try and get Roche. Oh, uh, Alliance need another Roche to be able to create a fight that goes in their favor. They they need an extra life on somebody. It probably has to be Loader. Right. I mean, if you look at the way that Virtus Pro has been warding, there's two wards right in front of Alliance's base. They're farming the enemy Ancient, they're farming the enemy Jungle. They know if they see anybody out of position, they could go for a pick. Maybe not S4, because S4's much. got godly reaction. But aside from everybody, aside from S4, they could kill anybody else. EGM, level if, 11. If, if this happens to you, and you're playing Rubik James, and you keep getting that close to a big dead, do you say fuck it and get a 4 stuff? Like, is there a time no, when you say... I, I think in, in this situation, what's going to end up happening is the next fight will probably be at their base or at Roche. Um, and I think if Alliance actually gets some say of initiation, the fight won't be so one-sided. Currently, every initiation has been on the VP side, and the, the warding's been great. Like, NS like, has been a superstar. So, yeah. Uh, how many smokes do they have on Alliance? Like, uh, Two hills. Okay, so they have, yeah, they have enough. So they can they can take a team fight and they can oh. cut someone off, but it's gonna be tough. Okay, well, BKB. no, there's, there's a BKB on. Yeah, it's gonna get okay, scary. Okay, well, maybe not. I changed my mind. It's it's not going well. You should be able to steal reincarnate. Yeah. That's so dumb. <laughs> so reincarnate, come back alive. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Still more I don't think S4 can do anything now either. Like, no. what do you blink? Yeah, but what do you blink hex on and combo and kill? 
You need to. No uh, one. Yeah. Like I, I, I you end up getting hexed yourself by yeah. G or by Artsart. You can't even play in the bank lines. Oh, like, here it is. Jonathan's it's not dying. Time, I think. All right, here it comes. I mean, there's just simply no rush for VP. They have, like, they're literally throwing sun strikes and ice blasts to the enemy fountain. Just, just like, hey, I think they have three minuses. They have a complete map control. Maybe they're just waiting for Aegis. Yeah, Roche is up. But this is when we. Sh I would like to see Alliance take this fight. Yeah. Like as, as horribly as it vision. may go. Look at the vision in the middle from. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But if they can take this fight. Invisibility. That would be good because I can't see them having many better times. If this Aegis comes up and they walk up to base and they, as you mentioned, they hit just two people with uh, Ice Blast, it's, uh, it's not going to be easy. Well, there we go. And this is the one that's going to be caught. If you take out the sound, and the ball bomb comes in, they will pick it off. Ice Blast comes in, hits two. And S4, as we mentioned, like, what can he do on the back lines? He just gets hexed and he gets taken down. So they lose Ake in the meanwhile. In the meantime, as well, and uh, Illidan just going to be hunting for Alliance and uh, will the VP even go. They just say yeah, go they, mid. They don't need Dyer's to go rush. Yeah, Jonathan needs attack. to stay back right now. Like, Dyer's I don't think the team needs to hit him the I don't think the team needs him to hit the tower. That like, ice cream DPS, man. He's a high priority target, but it's going to be Rafi that's initiating. He sees an ECM, oh, and wow, the stun came up just a little bit too late. <laughs> that's that's another kill. Dyer's middle tower well. has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks are Not under Not much attack. to do. He's got an 8 second BKB, but everything's too risky in this situation. Just a 4 staff hex and, and follow up. Dyer's I think middle barracks go. has fallen. Yeah, no, they play no slow. Yeah, play calmly and go back to Roshan. I mean, how? If I was VP, I couldn't believe I was in this situation. I'd be like, hey guys, just leave the base right now. Take just like, kind of slap my face a little bit and be like... Watch, watch just, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like, Rares Pro don't win a lot of other games when they do. It's like against top tier style. teams. Yeah, it's against uh, TI champions. Fnatic. And Fnatic. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Blast in the fountain. Second place, champ. Alright, here we go. This is, uh, this is Alliance. Oh, and that's gonna be the huge on the loader. Dyer's bottom tower is amazing. Looks like they're gonna drop the Sanking again, but here comes the big eclipse. John M again being a little bit of caught up. He's gonna just teleport out and stay, stay alive. G on the front line. Hex is already used. S4 blink into the trees, but it's gonna be that Rave Knight. Got a meter roll. Rave King. Hit him with the meatball. Meatball. It'll do more than that. Okay. G kind of laughed at him. Okay, G just running next to the like, meatball. He, he thought he had blade burn. Oh, 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 all right, I guess they're just going to annihilate their base. Really unfortunate uh, for them, they weren't able to catch uh, NS at the start of the fight. Like, had they been able to, they would have just had so much better positioning, would have had a BKB off, and mm -hmm. yeah. maybe could have done that. Yeah. Yeah. that was their chance. I mean, the one thing that we haven't really talked about is that Virtus Pro is playing basically with seven lives because they have buyback with bots or buyback with teleport. So, they're, they're just so, yeah, so ahead. They're just so ahead. He's close. Poor EG. Oh, oh, like, I'm gonna have nightmares for that. Oh, we'll go home play Diablo and be all good. Here you go, farm. Very good. Oh my god. I wasn't sorry about this Rafe King pick, but they played it. Like... I don't think it was so much the Rafe King. Again, it's just everything else with the A and Zaki. I think they could have nearly had any fire in this place. No, but when you're initiating with a guy that Dyer's dies and doesn't care, it's good. Good game by Burst Pro. Really hard. Like, the felled roam on the supports, if you can say that, this one is more tempted to switch to these. They need to be more aggressive and, you know, and actually get those supports doing something a little bit early. Like, the, the kind of, as we mentioned, the passive farming, like Rubik and. Uh, uh, Rubik doesn't scale as well uh, compared to like a Sand King and AA. They scaled amazingly, like, and good rush for Ag. So well played, VP. They're gonna win. I'm gonna move these. Andy, take your chair back. What is it? You can't just leave it there. <laughs> All right.